Hi guys, this is Mama Fodi. I'm coming to you today with something a little bit different. Maybe something you didn't know about me, but um, here it is. You see, I have my. I don't, sorry about the makeup today. No makeup today. I had a migraine, but I just got done coloring my hair, and um, it's in a towel. And I'm going to show you one of my things that I do that maybe you don't know that I have my um, license for um, beauty culture for hair, makeup, whatever. So I'm going to show you a few tips today. If you want to know how to cut bangs, if you know how to, um, if you want to know how to put a couple of layers on the top of your head, or oh boy, that's cute, isn't it? If you want to learn how to maybe, you know, people like that little hump over here when they're blow drying their hair. Um, you know, just a couple basic steps. If you want to add some little style to your hair and if you have long straight hair and you just want a couple layers on the top just to make it look a little bit fuller so that's what I'm going to show you today yes I do have my license I don't know if you guys knew that but I figured you know what I never did a haircut and tape so I'm going to show you today if you want to cut some bangs in your hair I'm going to show you what to do okay oh, I hope you like it it's something different you need to make a part in the front of your hair like this, okay? Make the part, make sure it's all the way across. Put all this stuff back like this. Make the part, okay? It depends, do you want a really full bang? Do you want wispy bangs? I'm gonna do the wispy bangs for you, okay? So you part all your hair, make sure you have that straight across like that. My bangs are a little bit long, so I'm going to trim them for you. It's so easy, guys. People go and they, they spend $25 to get their bangs trimmed. I got my scissors, okay? Now watch. What I usually do, you don't ever want to go above the eyebrow. If you go above the eyebrow, <laughs> you'll be looking. And there is new haircuts now that you see people with the hair bangs like this straight across. I don't like them, but some people like them. If you want to do that, then you cut straight across up there. But me, I like them just underneath the eyebrow. So you take your um, bangs, put them in your fingers like this, okay? And then you just trim. Just trim. Just trim. Take the next piece. Now, if you want them on an angle, you're going to cut. When you get to at the end of the eyebrow like this, you're going to cut it like on a little bit of an angle like that little bit of an angle it's very very easy okay so when you get your bangs cut and say like they're too straight across and you don't like them like that what I do I'll take them like this in my hand and instead of going straight across like this you're gonna cut into them like up with your scissors like this and just slither 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 so when you get them they're not straight across. They look like really, 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 really feathered. Like you go like this. And you cut into them, you cut into them, you cut into them. And then you'll see them like all be like all feathered across. And they're like, they look like they're uneven bangs. Really, that's what they look like. That's what you want them to look like because they're not uneven. They're like uneven bangs and they look really wispy and they look really cool. See, like I'm doing like that? So, that's the bangs. And it's really, really, really easy. Now, say you want to um, layer your hair all the way across. Like, say your hair is all one length and you want a nice um, layering up here just to get some volume. It's really easy. This is all you have to do. You start with one piece. Say you go like this. Make a little column like this. You pull it up, okay? Then, all you do, you see my hair here? All you do is you take it like this. Cut straight across like that, okay? Then you're going to take your next section right behind it, okay? Pull it up. And you see the hairs that are longer than the ones right behind it? You cut them straight across. Then you take your next section another section right behind it 
and you're always going to take a piece from the one that that you just previously cut and this is how you make sure everything is even so you take the one a little bit from before and the one you recently cut and you will see what you follow from before you do the same exact thing you cut all the way across until you match up until the next one then you go to the next section take a little piece of the one you cut before and that's how you know you have an even mark you see this here I got this big piece cut look even perfectly even and you follow on all the way to the back you always have the piece from one the one before you follow that cut you got a perfect haircut okay look all layered I layered all of that okay so that's how you get a nice layering all on the top here. Now say you just want some bump in your head, like the bump back here, that's my favorite thing. I love to have the bump. Because without me, I have very thin, straight hair. And I always have to have volume. I love volume on the back. So for me, when I wanna just cut back here, I'll just take my hair in that manner, like right here, this whole piece back here, I'll pull it up, pull it up straight, I'll cut straight across, pull up a little bit more from the back, a little bit more, match it with that piece that you just cut, cut it again, I got that. So I'll have that nice piece here so when I go and blow dry it, I blow dry it, it's going to be a nice, I'm, I'm going to have a nice bump like that. And then you'll tease it, whatever. I'll show you in my blow dryer. But that's how I do the top. You just want to do a side bang. Put it to the side that you're going to wear it. The side bang. All you do is cut it like this. Put it down as far as you want it to go. You, you make that little part like I told you. Cut the bang. Like I told you, cut the bang. Now all the way down to the side. If you wanted to go on an angle, you would cut it on an angle. That's how, like if you have really long hair, you want a nice side bang, pull your, cut your hair. See how far you want to go down with that side bang? Usually it's like right here. So you would take those pieces, make your part. Say you just wanted to go down to this part right here. You would go up and cut. And make your side bang if you just want to do the straight across piece you would cut straight across but most people do the angle okay just cut all the way up straight across it's basically very easy guys but like I said all you have to do when you're cutting this follow the piece take the piece cut it see how even that was when I cut it then you take the piece behind it always have the piece from the one before cut it look then you take the other piece, cut it all the way back. I'm going to tell you my two favorite products that you have to have. This is excellent right here. Dry shampoo. Always have dry shampoo because if the day comes and you don't feel like washing your hair the next day, you take this dry shampoo and if your hair is like a little bit oily or whatever, you put this spray it into the roots, into the roots, into the roots. Turn your hair down, blow dry it, blow dry it. You don't even have to blow dry it. All you have to do is put that in the roots, spray it in, spray it in, then you blow dry it or curl it again. Your hair it looks fabulous. It doesn't look greasy, it doesn't look oily. It is one of the best things I love on the market. I buy the Bedhead um, O Beehive um, Dry Shampoo. It is fabulous. And for my hairspray, Always use Chi Helmet Head. When I talk to you Helmet Head, when you put this on, your hair, your hair ain't moving out of place nowhere. It holds that hair stiff. So I'm going to give you a quick blow dry um, on how my hair looks now when I did the little hump, when I did that little blow dry. I'll show you really how quick that you have that. I take a, I take a round brush and watch this. I roll it.
takes a, this blow dry hub is really good. Um, you're going to see when I take the thing out, I blow dry to the side because I cut it more to the side. Look at that. You see how I have that hump on top there? I love it. It gives me so much volume. And I just blow dry it. And afterwards, I sometimes I'll use an iron or the chain. And I'll blow dry it. But when it usually comes to go like this, I don't even bother. I just tease it up a little bit. I spray it. Sometimes I just go underneath. I blow dry my hair upside down real quick. I'll show you. And then I just style the way that I want. I use my round brush. I, I do my hair. And sometimes, you know what I do, guys? In between blow dry while I put my makeup on, what I do is I'll take one of these these curlers that I have while I'm putting my makeup on. I'll put this in like real quick. And while I'm putting my makeup on, I'll put it in there like that. I'm sorry I didn't blow dry the rest. I'm just trying to make a point to you guys how easy it is. I'll put one of these curlers in while I'm putting on my makeup. And then when I'm done, I'll take the curler out. And my bump that I have on the top there is so cool. And it looks so good. That's all I have to do. So, you know, I hope I gave you a little tip today. If you want to know something else, next time we'll do a makeup editorial that I think you'll like. But if you want a little bit of um, volume, a little bit of something different, if you have long straight hair, if you want to do a quick bang, um, like I said, it's really easy to do. As long as you follow your um, first piece that you cut all the way through, it, it's really nothing to do. So I hope you liked it. And, uh, Maybe we'll do some more, okay? If you like it, let me know, okay? Patty Fody out. Love ya.